Hello, today we're going to be talking about IRC, or Internet Relay Chat. Now according to Wikipedia, Internet Relay Chat is basically text messaging over the Internet. However, instead of doing it one person to one person, you have the option to do group communication with as many people as you want to have in segregated rooms or channels as they're commonly known. In addition, you have the ability to do person-to-person -person communication privately, but you don't have to. You do have that option of having everybody in one place. If you'd like to know more about Internet Relay Chat, of course, I'll have the link to the Wikipedia article in the source code below. But let's go ahead and move on to installing a client on your system. Now, I'm going to assume a lot of people are going to be using Ubuntu. If you're using a different type of system, I'd hope you would know how to install software on it. If you don't, though, feel free to ask in the comments below or on my forum, forums.thisweekinlinux.com, and we can try to accommodate you. But for now, let's talk about Ubuntu. Now, on Ubuntu, you'll go up to Applications and go to the Ubuntu Software Center. And once in the Software Center, you'll go up to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to suggest typing in XChat. XChat's a very easy to get started with client, it's got a lot of simple commands, very easy to use interface, it's actually kind of similar to the Ubuntu Software Center now that I look at it. But we'll go ahead and click on that and click install, give it the password, and then a few seconds later you see it is installed. So now we can go ahead and exit the Software Center, we can go to the Applications, internet and now click on XChat IRC, the new item that's been installed. But when you go ahead and click on it, you see this XChat network list pops up. I'm going to go ahead and give it my nickname. JK0 is the one I most commonly use, but since I'm already logged in as that, we're going to change that to this week in Linux. And I'm going to look in the networks list at the bottom. You see there are tons and tons of networks available. The one that I commonly use is called Freenode. That's where my channel is located. That's just where I spend all of my time. But once you've selected one, You'll go ahead, give it your nickname, and hit connect, and that's about all there is to it. After a few seconds, you should be connected to the server. It's going to ask me for a password, so I'm going to type that in off camera, so don't worry about that. Now you'll see, now that we've connected, it popped up and said XChat connection's complete. It means we've connected to Freenode. It asks if we want to join a channel. If you were so inclined, you could go ahead and click join this channel and type in whatever channel you wanted. For example, TWIL, Twill, the channel that I run. However, I'm going to show you how to do it the other way, just in case you're not on a client like this that asks you where you want to go. Now you'll see down here at the bottom, this is the line where you'll type in everything that you're going to be saying to the server, saying to other people on the server. So, if I wanted to join a channel, I'll type forward slash join, and then the channel name, which is pound twil for my channel. There we go, I clicked on it, the client that I'm using connected, it shows the, the room that I'm in, it shows the topic for that room, the people within the room, all sorts of things like that. See we've got the list of people, 47 people on at the moment. Uh, the difference between the colors over here, the green means an operator, the people that have total control over the room. Yellow means voice, in this case it doesn't really mean anything, it's just letting you know who are the staff members. And the rest of the people are just people that are there hanging out. So, if I wanted to say something to the room, down here at the bottom I can select the line and just start typing. Good evening, just doing a test for a video, smile, and then hit enter and of course it will send whatever I've said to the room and everyone else in the room can see what was said. Hopefully someone will respond back in turn. And a couple of people did, myself included. You see it's all instantaneous, it's a group of people all in one place and all talking. However, if you wanted to talk to one person and one person only, privately, you could right click on their name, either here where you see their name, or over on the right hand side where the whole list is. You can right click and go to open dialogue window. That will create a private session between you and the person you've selected. Now I could say hi, and that will send a message to my other self saying hi. And I can reply to it from my other client saying hello. And you see just a second later it pops up and says hello just one of the many options that you've got here instant communication but basically that's all there is to it from then on you can type whatever you want to and as long as in my channel you have to do things within reason we do have a code of conduct we do ask that you be nice and respectful but i do ask if you're interested in talking to me or to anybody else in the twill community feel free to stop by at any time there are always 40 to 50 to 60 people online and during the live shows which regularly happen on wednesdays and sundays there are anywhere between 100 and 120 people on at a time maybe even more 
But that's all for this very quick tutorial. If you're interested in seeing something else, a different tutorial perhaps, feel free to go to my forum, forums.thisweekinlinux.com, go into the brand new tutorial and review suggestions board, and create a new topic suggesting whatever you would like to see. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.